So hello guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about one of Haltech's lesser known products and how it can help you get the advantage at the track. Now it's no secret that one of the keys to success in motorsport is tyre management. Now everyone knows that it's really important to make your tyres are up to temperature before you start pushing. Otherwise your tyres will not have enough grip and will not allow you to extract the peak performance out of your car. Now one of the key aspects when it comes to tyre temperature is tyre pressure. Now everyone knows it's really important to make sure you get your cold pressure correct. So by the time you've got some heat into the tyres, the tyre has expanded to its optimal shape to allow you to put that power to the circuit. Now usually this is done by coming out of the pits after a couple of laps and getting one of your crew to get a tyre pressure gauge on there and see what the pressures are at as the tyre heats up then adjusting accordingly. But the downside of that is all guesswork. You don't know your pressure until you're taking your valve cap off, you've put your pressure gauge on there and you've got your reading, losing valuable time in the pits when you could be out on the circuit turning laps. Now if you've got a Howtech ECU with the IC7 dash then this product here from Haltech is going to be beneficial to you. Now this is Haltech's tyre management system or TMS4 for short and now what this does is it takes a reading from each one of these four sensors that come in the kit. Now you replace your valve caps with these and as you can see they're conveniently marked for which corner of the car they need to go on. Then it's a simple case of plugging this into your Haltech CAN network, plugging the laptop, opening the Haltech software and then activating this in the software. So why don't you come with me while we go install this TMS system on the Spicy Micro. So first we'll start off by installing the pressure sensors. So as you can see they're all labelled front left, rear left and then obviously you've got one for the right front, right rear. Now, it's just... now it really is as simple as unscrewing the old valve cap in that into oblivion, screwing the pressure receiver on, make sure it's nice and tight tight like a tiger and then we'll do the same for the rear nice and tight now i have got odd wheels on this at the moment because we've got a dyno session this week and these are our road tires to make sure we don't melt the slicks on it's the dyno now as for the receiver box it's a case of plugging this into your Haltech can network now ignore how messy this looks at the moment because i've taken this all from up here because i'm doing some work on a car on up here underneath the dashboard now it's important to install this as central in the car as possible in between all four tires that way you're guaranteed to get a reading of all four of the sensors if you have this off to one side like under the dashboard here and there's a good chance that the the driver's rear won't get a reading but the other three will so so i'm going to install my control box here put this little m6 standoff on this hole here tighten that up and then that will go on there And then we'll just tuck the wires up behind there. Got a bit of cable tied to stop them going everywhere. Now, the next time you come to power up your Haltech ECU, you'll hear a new noise, which is a beep, which comes from this unit, so don't be alarmed. Now it's the case of plugging into your Haltech ECU and opening up the NSP software. And then coming up to the top here in the search function, we're gonna type tire. And as you can see, we've got tire monitoring system and then simply turning it on and then simply send to ECU now what you can do to utilize this data is you can add it to your data logs so obviously you'll have to go into your data logs and activate those two lines to make sure you get those two readings that appear on your data logs now the cool thing is is that if you've also got an IC7 dash like we have then you can cycle through your option screens and then it gives you all your tyre information there. So as you see at the bottom ones, it tells us our tyre pressures and it also gives us an approximate tyre temperature as well. But it'll also tell you that if the tyre is losing air, so um, if you've got a puncture or something, it will give you that information. And there we go, a Haltex TMS4 system installed on the Micra and just in time for Snetterton in a couple of weeks time. So 
If you're interested in the TMS4 system, it's available on the Hartex website. There'll be a link down below. Now remember, data is everything when it comes to motorsport. So make sure you get yourself one and get it installed on your car. There's a link down below. If you've got a Haltech, it's an invaluable piece of equipment. And to be fair, it's reasonably priced. So there's no reason for you to not go buy it. Now that's it for this video. As always, don't forget to drop a like on this video, drop a comment down below, subscribe, and then don't forget to tell your nan. We'll see you in the next video.